Hello again, we are back, and I welcome you to the XML slash RSS feed chapter of the external API. First off, um, the RSS feed template is one that when the external API is enabled, they get by default and it will show up if you type in RSS feed in advanced. Now there's parameters in there that actually let you just control this and hopefully get you for far enough where you'll need to write most of this from scratch. So we're going to briefly go over this. So I mean, this is the NASA image of the day. We're passing in this URL that we set as a parameter to the external API. And what's different from what we've done in the past videos is that this is XML. and and this it's generic XML but RSS feeds follow the same sort of object structure starting with an RSS tag to a channel and then items is actually an array but we key that by um, the tags so and let's get into what I mean right there um, the XML does not have a one-to-one -one sort of comparison to like JSON so in an effort to make things cl um, closer to what you would use so we're gonna just pass this in and you'll notice an error because it's not JSON and right off the bat we see this is JSON right here because we convert it to um, a similar array format to what you'd see. So anyways, that's beh some behind the theme scene stuff. And you'll see with this is, uh, like I said earlier, there's an RSS tag, a channel, and then items is the array. And actually, let's just look really briefly at, so at the actual XML. Maybe that'll put in perspective. So you'll notice that items is just another tag in, into items. And that's where the array comes into play. You also notice that we have attributes. Like this is the enclosure. So this is how they're sending their featured image. And so RSS don't always follow the same format. So that's kind of why we're going over some of this too. So in this case, they're using an exclosure tag and the attribute URL contains the image of the day for them. And so what does that look like in the JSON? Right here, you're going to see this enclosures attribute. And you'll actually notice that the enclosure is whatever. If there was actual content inside that, that's where you, what you, would, you would see it in enclosure. And so much like title or link in this case and so how that looks like an object notation which is the dot syntax right there it's like I said enclosure underscore ATTR attribute and dot URL because this is an object as you can see and then URL is um, the key that we're using so Let's go finish up going over this. So we're looping through that. Um, in this row, each column is an RSS item, as you see here, using the link tag so that we can pass in the looper field link. And that is pretty standard for RSS, as well as um, title, publish date, as you see in the corner. And all this is dynamic content what's so image key right here is a parameter I set up right and we're actually passing that into the looper field to uh, to dynamically set up the background image so you know sort of the point of parameters to make things easier to use so that's controlled just right there and so thought would be fun for this example is we're gonna grab the WordPress feed and start off if you're looking to do this on your own site or 
um, look at another site. The uh, wordpress.com slash support slash feeds has your back. And eventually there's a whole bunch of information. We'll go over all of it. But eventually you'll see links and you'll see that the main content is just your domain slash feed. And then it could be also be comments slash feed, categories, all sorts of stuff. Now, what I found now so featured image won't be sent by default um, what I found was very useful is just this plugin that says you know RSS featured image does exactly what you think it does and when that isn't installed it just sends it through another um, tag right here um, we want what you aren't looking for in those plugins because there are a lot of them you don't want it to be putting it in the description you I mean, you might want to do that, but it won't be like on your actual site itself, but it won't be as accessible for through dynamic content as we'll see later. So we're going to set up the WordPress one. So they have, they say blog.wordpress2, but we're going to just do the straight up wordpress.com one. Um, and let's just yeah create a new one actually and we'll just reference this old one so this is going to be the wordpress rss feed we're going to first switch this to feed and you'll notice images is different um, on this i believe it's um, what I liked was the media thumbnail right there. So you'll notice this is, you know, we're trying to access the attribute again. So let's go through this. So it's going to be media thumbnail, of course. And we're going to add ATTR to URL. And it actually worked without that, but that's just by happenstance. It grabs the first value in the array. So got that set up um, what's and it's it really is just that easy too because most of them are the same um, it's a pretty standardized format minus this image key now what's fun about the WordPress one is that they actually send a video to in actually the same key that NAS was using so the that enclosure one for WordPress is where they put the video so thought it'd be fun to add that so it's not on all of them so off the bat we're gonna add a condition and looking for looper field and it's enclosure edgeroot.url so if it's not blank we want to show this area which is going to be I've decided it's going to be like a modal um, video. We'll just call it video area for now. And then we'll add a modal, which when clicking the modal, you'll see the video. So you'll notice that, like I said, it's not the videos aren't on all of them, but we do see it here. And let's center this video. Um, yeah, let's just do the quick and easy flex box controls. Is that going to work? I think I might have to 100%. Yeah. Okay. So let's, that's fine. Let's change this to a play button. It'll be fun. Let's go to play. Great. Um, yeah, color's fine, sure. Well, let's add a border. Um, no, maybe an, a box shadow. Oops, let's put a little. Oh, that's on the graphic. You know, let's just add a border. That's fine with me. nice
screen for like play and cool so that's fine right let's add a video element into this modal and so actually let's grab that condition from earlier because we're going to start to use that value so this this whole area is hidden when they don't have a video and we play press that into the source that's great um, let's press play to make sure okay so the videos on the these are I imagine more for background it's just like a screencast let's screen or raise this to like 60 would be great as you can just see it and great yeah so that I think the image themselves or the videos themselves are a little squished um, what else we can do yeah let's just do autoplay if there's a play button you have to imagine it's just gonna play right away anyway modal do dynamic rendering so this will pause let's and yeah I mean that's pretty good um, let's see anything else I want to tell you guys yeah hopefully this gets you started with XML there is a learning curve for this one this return type particularly but hopefully this helps can't wait to see what you build get out there man get out there fam and just have some fun uh, much love